या गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन द सिटीजन ऑफ प्रापेवर्स स्लाइड्स आर विजिबल नाउ सो या वी फाइनली मैनेज टू कैच द थीव्स एंड गेट हियर इफ यू नो यू नो बट या सो वॉट सो सिंस दिस इज प्रापेवर्स वॉट डू थिंक इट टेक्स टू रन एन इवेंट लाइक दिस राइट वेर डज इट स्टार्ट सो इट स्टार्ट वे बिफोर like even the registrations and the payments etc it starts okay how do you decide the venue how when even the event proposal is there right okay we want to conduct this event and from there it starts and then you have registrations you have uh web pages for the event you have the schedule you have sponsorship management right coordinating with the sponsor taking payments and yeah a lot more like for example talk proposals check-ins on the day of the event add-ons right okay who is getting a t-shirt who is getting a meal so yeah why buzz so we are calling it buzz the event management app built on top of frappe framework frappe ui and frappe builder so we'll come to that why there are three things involved so earlier this event right this has been running on custom doc types right so it worked right it worked very well because frappe is very good at like you write a few scripts you have a notification doc type you have few other doc types that you create and you are able to get a good event management app running but that is not a scalable solution in the sense that when you have two three four events going forward right and all of those have some different set of ticket types or let's say different set of add-ons then it becomes a problem you want it to automate a lot of things for example i'll give you an example okay uh, for example in india we use razor pay for payments and then in frappers africa we had to use mpesa so that has to be done in a separate server script as a separate web page so that we are not benefiting from okay a generic product that we can reuse and then that anyone from the community can then use to conduct their own events so that's why we productified it and then i will give you a direct demo now so let's start with the core of it so this is inside the desk i'm just creating an event i'm get a, giving it a title the uh, host who is who is hosting this event because anyone can be a host a partner for frappe local etc and then a byline and then i'll select the venue in this case it's nehru center auditorium so quickly adding a venue and then a start date and date i have speeded this up but you get the idea that you have this event details okay this is the event that going to be conducted and in the next step what i am going to add later is a proposal feature where the community can propose talks and then these these uh, these details will be figured out later after the event creation so what's next so now i want to define okay what are the ticket types available what are the different add ons so you can see in this doc type itself i have tried to um compress it all so you don't have to navigate here and there you have all the feature access there so i'll create two ticket types let's say vip right and you can even have this feature where you will say okay uh, this early bird ticket is only available till so and so date right and if i go back uh play again it was a bit fast but i'll show you the two features that i wanted to show So there is schedule, website, payments, and other customizations. So a ticket type. Uh, you can set a price. You can set ma maximum tickets as well. And then these are add-ons, right? This can be T-shirts, for example. Then you can define options, right? Okay, what are the different T-shirt sizes available? And where this will show up is the next step. Once you hit publish, right? This event is live. right on the web page with all its details and schedules this is built on frappe builder yeah next so this is the form that is built on frappe so once you click on register it will take you to this form and this all is coming dynamically from the event types we define from the add-ons we define right so meal boxes the t-shirt sizes we define right that will also come here from the back end and you can even add more attendees But yeah, I, I think like since it is India, we need GST. So let's turn GST on. <laughs> Nobody likes GST, but fine. So now we can proceed with the booking.
So let's quickly pay via UPI. So I'll tell you this is configurable per event and it has a tight integration with the my favorite confetti. <laughs> so now uh, we have the ticket here and yeah. So that was a brief going from creating an event to capturing payments and having registrations and a uh, lot more features, but I'm not going to deep dive into each of them. I'll tell you, okay, I have been building it in public. There are 16 episodes, hours and hours of content. <laughs> all the base, right? I started from the designing of the application, the doc types, what all with the doc types, how they will interact with each other, then building the pages in Frappe Builder, right? All of that is live. So. I think that also turned out to be a good training material that can be watched after the Dubai bootcamp. But yeah, that, that was a side effect. And then this is the piece. So I tried to do the ticket form that you saw in Frappe Builder. Uh, I was trying to push it to its limit that, okay, how, how much can, can I get it done? But I figured soon out that it has a lot of interactivity and Builder is not yet uh, tailored for it. So I decided, I, I spent two episodes on it and this is how it looked at the end. <laughs> and Mostly the dynamic things were working, but it was non-maintainable. Uh, code was all over the place. And then I decided to move out and say, okay, this piece I'm going to build in Frappe UI. So as a developer, you have to decide that, okay, this piece is fine. So server render pages, builder, very good fit. And now the form, uh, we need maybe studio someday, but right now Frappe UI is a good option. And let's talk AI because AI, right? Everyone wants to know about AI. And I wanted to put that word in my slide. No, genuinely, I'll show you two use cases. When I got sold, not too much sold, but I, I got that, okay, these are the use cases which AI makes sense. The LLMs make sense. So one was that, okay, I have already built this form in Frappe Builder. I had the code of it. I wanted it to be converted to Frappe UI code, right? That's not a very, what do you say, interesting thing to do. So. LLMs are good at that, okay, you give it some pattern and then you ask for, okay, I want it in this pattern. So what I did was I copy pasted everything and I said, okay, give me <laughs> it in Vue.js code, right? So this is the first card it came up with, it's prettier than mine. And then, I, okay, then the thing was, okay, I want it in Frappe UI, but LLMs don't have context of Frappe UI. They, they might have scrapped some of it but they don't know, okay, how components, well components writ are written in Frappe UI, how to use a toast, how to use a dialog. So then what I started to do is I took the Frappe UI documentation, I started feeding in and I said, okay, use this components and then rewrite the form again. And then it used correctly the Frappe UI components. So that was also happening live. You can see my face there when it worked. Yeah, so I, so this is like the meat of it, uh, a small tip that I will give you. Everything right now with agentic AI is bound to context. So I started copying directly the source code of Rappi UI, pasting it in the context file and it works very nicely. But yeah, so now the second, so now I got the taste of wipe coding. So I thought, okay, maybe let me try one more thing. I wanted to improve this in experience of the number of attendees, right? This has been in the current form as well that, okay, you have to select the number of attendees first hand. You can't keep adding and adding and then remove any uh, random attendee. So I, I told AI that, okay, I have this problem. I want to refactor it, right? Uh, I want a better user experience, use Frappe UI components. And I want you to create a form where I can add dynamically the attendees and remove at any point in time. Right? This is co-pilot, by the way, uh, in VS Code. I have not purchased any fancy AI stuff, but this is, the, it one-shotted it <laughs> and then we have a nice user experience. Of course, you have to then review the code and that's how we shipped the first course version of the Frappe UI dial code. Okay, now the next phase, right? I had a call with Palkan after this uh, initial set of episodes and then she came up with some of the use cases that they are facing at Frappe was that, okay, why can't we automate this? We are spending too much time on this manual effort. And one of it was this. So we want, we personally, uh, our team, we got five tickets, right? We bought five tickets and then two tickets were free for speakers. And so we decided, okay, let's save some money and cancel those two, two tickets. 
So this is what our team did and they dropped an email and then there was the email back and forth, right? That, okay, we want to cancel. Then Palkan replied with something and then there was some coordination going on. So there is no specific portal, right? Where I can go and say, okay, I want to cancel these two tickets. And then the cancellation request goes to the team and they can approve and there is, because these are online payments. So refunds can also happen automatically. So then I replied to Palkan, if you see at the bottom, that this reminds me to implement a cancellation feature. And that day I went and implemented this feature where you can go in your dashboard. You can say, okay, I want to cancel this ticket. Request cancellation. You can pick whatever tickets you want to cancel and then submit a cancellation request. And that's it. So once it is approved and the refund can be processed. And the second thing she, so I copied that line verbatim here that as soon as the sponsor pays, their logo should appear that smooth the process should be, right? Right now it is back and forth. Maybe you submit an inquiry, you give, get a sponsorship deck, you can talk to the people, but you should be able to, right now what they are doing is, I think they're generating payment links and sharing it across. So I thought, okay, let's fix it today itself. So I created a sponsorship dashboard where, where you can see your inquiries and click on it. Once it is approved, right, it will show you payment pending. And then you can pay now, select a sponsorship tier from here whatever is available. These are also dynamic by the way, so you can define it per event and then you pay and again, too much confetti now. But yeah. Yeah, I wanted to show you the logo appears as soon as they pay. Happy Pulkan. So yeah, I had too much fun building it. And yeah, so now you have tested vibe coding. Now you want to do more and more of it. So then instead of doing POCs by diagrams, I thought, okay, maybe I'll ask the AI to create some version of it. And then the first problem was the UX problem where you have to manage this child table for schedules, right? And there can be multiple tracks, okay? For example, in Frappyverse, now you have track one, track two, right? And visually it is not clear and you might miss some slot, right? So then I said, I, I pulled up a diagramming tool, I said, okay, is this something that would work? A Gantt-like scheduling, uh, scheduling UI. And Palkan clearly said, okay, what if it is vertical? And then I said, okay. I posted this screenshot in the AI and then said, okay, I want it to be vertical and this is what it came up with. What, not one shot it, but I somehow got it to working. So now, like, it is not merged yet, but it's working. Next was this. So we got to uh, India Force tickets as a sponsor, right? So as a sponsor, you get, let's say 10 tickets, 15 tickets that you can forward to your team or allocate, allocate to your team. These are free coupons basically for sponsoring or for, so I said, again, I am, I'm working with user in email chains. Now I ask Balkan, do we need this feature in our events happens? Okay. Would be great. I said, okay, let's do it. And then I implemented this free coupons feature where you can sh generate a coupon, say, okay, this, this is the pass they will get. This is the number of tickets and they can just apply it at checkout and then it will show, okay, fine. You got the free tickets now. That's also automated. And okay, this disclaimer, I don't merge wipe coded PRs. So whatever POC you say, they are actually POC. The process is that I will review it meticulously, make the changes, refactor it, and then merge it. Or even I will throw it away and start from scratch. So it's not that a magic bullet that you, okay, give a prompt, features are working, merge it in production. LLMs are not there yet, yeah. This slide is repeated. This slide is also repeated, the end. Wait, two more things. So one more thing is now boring, so two more things. So I have been building this in public, right? So what benefit do I get? Like, okay, I'm building in public, okay, I get some views on YouTube. And so Abdul Hafiz is sitting in the audience. He had been following me, right? He has been in the, a constant viewer of all the episodes. He has been in the chat and there are a lot of people who have been following this app. But he has been fixing me as well. So I, I was stuck in a bug where the payments weren't captured in Razorpay or somehow the link was not getting generated. And he pointed out, okay, you are looking at the wrong code. Go and look at this. And then I was able to fix it. So this is like some power of built-in public where you are. Also getting feedback from the audience that, okay, this is working. Even I re remember Karan, he's also in the audience. He, when I was building Batwara, he 
did live testing for me. He was logging in, he was testing and I was okay, reporting bugs and then I was fixing it live. Those episodes are also there on YouTube. So it's too much fun. But yeah, the interesting part, Abdul Hafiz built a platform on top of event management app for running the cycling event in Hyderabad and made it live at the 12th episode. So now this Horloop challenge that is happening in Hyderabad, this is the uh, health minister of Hyderabad and they are running this on the event management app bus. So it was, it went live before I, we can make it live somewhere. <laughs> so the, the add-ons feature, you can see how they have used. He, he uh, built this in Frappe Builder. Yeah, so Buzz is going to be part of Frappe Incubator. That's another announcement. It's not approved yet, but hopefully it does. Yeah, it's, uh, it's open source from day one. You can go and start, uh, contribute, add your feature requests and see the progress. And I have added a readme. Last night I've pushed it, so be happy. Thank you.